Hello everyone and welcome back to Scale Up Academy. My name is Matt Ganzak. Today we're going over in this free session one of the common mistakes or a couple of the common mistakes that are most frequently made with your website. Now you might have this problem but let's go through and take a look. So here would be a common home page and so many people have home page layouts like this now with the logo in the upper left hand corner, this menu here, and then they have like a big top image that looks great, and maybe another little image here, so we'll say I for image, some text, maybe a call to action, so sign up, you know, take action, buy this, sign up, whatever it is. And then maybe some other text here and a nice picture, so another image, and then maybe a button down here for something. So this is just a, a basic layout of what your site might look like. And you know, maybe there's another call to action, another CTA here. If you have a website, I want you to pause this video and go to your site and count up all the different things that somebody can click on on your homepage, just this one page. How many different things can be clicked on? I'll wait. Or well, you're just going to pause the video. All right, welcome back. No, I'm joking. So there are so many different things that people can click on on your site. Now, what if I told you that if you limited those things, if you made less things that they could click on, you would actually make more money or get more signups or whatever these call to actions are asking those people to do. With less things, you'll have a higher activity rate. Let's take a look. So, say you have a menu, and so many people have home page as their first menu, and services, and maybe products, about, contact, blog, this is a pretty typical and you know, whatever your services or products are, and then maybe you have some options here. I'm not going to write out what all those options would be and maybe a couple under about and a couple under contact and you know, maybe even a couple under blog. So you have all these different options. So you need to count up all those things in your menu of every single thing that somebody could do. This is insane. <laughs> you have so many options, so many paths that somebody could take. Now, I learned a long time ago, and I've done thorough testing on all this, but I learned a long time ago that when you have people coming to your web page, you don't want them to think. You want them to just be told what to do. And by the way, if these first couple words here are welcome to my website, please go change that because you don't need to welcome somebody to your website. And if you're giving them all these options, <laughs> this is not working. You need to be very specific. And we talked about this before, and that is, let me find some place to write. All right, who, what, why? Let's keep it focused on these three. Who, who is the person visiting? What, what are they looking for? Why, why should they buy? Keep these three things in mind and then keep your content focused towards that. So say this is just an article and you just want somebody to read it, you need to put in this text why they need to read it and who the person is that's visiting. So if you have all these things and you just name this service or products or about or contact or blog, you need to be very specific in what they need to do, like buy now or purchase now or you know get a discount or have some sort of call to action and this is insane. It, it, this just drives me crazy. So I'll have clients that have, say, a thousand website visitors. And it doesn't really matter in the time frame. This is just an example. So I have clients that say they have a thousand visits and let's just say a week. It really doesn't matter uh, what the time frame is. It's just drawing this out. So with all these different options, and these thousand visits, and most people do go to your homepage unless you're driving them in through some other 
some other place, most website traffic will go to your homepage. So you have a thousand visits and most of that is going to the homepage. Let's say only 80 visits to other pages. So that leaves just less than a thousand, but 920 visits to your homepage. Now what's the number one thing that you want somebody to do? You want them to buy. But if you're saying buy and then sign up, you know, get a free maybe ebook. And then you have this call to action that's like, you know, join our mailing list. You have so many different things. People get here and they just absolutely are confused. You need to have one thing, one thing. And you need to have this text make them know that they're in the right place. They are here because this is for them. And what they want, you can give them. So this is, this is insane. So you see some of the top experts and some of the top people like myself and some of the other ones. I'm gonna erase this for a second. So let me just get rid of this. So that's your homepage. And I struggle with this and I argue with my clients over and over again because we need to change it because you can't have 50 options. And they're like, oh, well, I offer all these different options. Your visitor gets lost. And out of these 920 visits, say you'll only have maybe five signups. So out of that many people, you'll only get about five signups in having all this confusion. Now here's kind of a new site, like a new, the new site. You have logo, branding, and then you have more branding here. Instead of a menu, you're branding your business. And then you have either a video or pitch. So we'll just say video or pitch. And that would be like your elevator pitch or a video down to like very, very small, like two sentences for the pitch. Or if it's a video, explain exactly what your business is about and then have a CTA. I don't care what it is. It could be like a sign up form. And I mean, definitely it needs to be a sign up form, but it could be a button that somebody clicks on that pops up a sign up form or goes to a page with a sign up form. Whatever it is, you need to have something here and maybe some people will buy, but you need to put them through a sales funnel. And we'll talk about sales funnels in a second. And then maybe have a little bit more. And then this is going to be your why. So if somebody reads through here, this is going to be about you or about your business or about why someone needs to take action. Don't, you don't see a big menu. You don't see all these options. You don't see all this stuff going on because you're driving people in for a purpose. So out of these thousand people, same thousand people here that came in and then let's say 80 visits went to this page. So again, same 920. Erase that. Looks horrible. All right. So 920 came here visits to this page, not this page with all the menu. And then out of that, you'll see 50 signups tested this over and over and over and over again. It always happens like this. You'll get like 10 times, if not more activity, sending someone to a page that looks like this with branding and you know, just it explains what they're there for. They know when they visit who they are, what they're looking for and why they need to take action. This one thing changing from this crazy menu and all these things, if you need to have this menu, put it down in the footer, put it down here, put your menu down there, but have all up here and don't let them see this. You know, this is your 
that's what they see on their screen when they come to your page. They see your uh, activity, they see the call to action, and they take action. They're gonna take action on this page, this menu, they're not gonna take action. So just making this change in your website is gonna give you that many more signups. So if you're getting a conversion rate that says uh, maybe 5% of these people are gonna, are gonna pay, just making this change is going to get that many more people into your sales process, into your business, and you're gonna have more sales for your company. Just this one change. Now we're not even talking about uh, going forward with your uh, sales funnel because this needs to go into a sales funnel. If you have people just coming to your site just randomly and then making the decision if they wanna buy or not, you're gonna lose those people as well. I like having my homepage to have one or two options. So Scale Up Academy, I have uh, courses, so people can click and read about some of the courses. Right on the courses page, they can sign up. Right from the homepage, they can sign up. And then there's a login button, and then a little about page. And then from the about page, they can sign up. So every single page they go to has a little bit different copy or uh, text on it, rather, but the same call to action is on every single page. So we're pushing people to one thing on Scale Up Academy. And if there's anything that you take from this, if you don't ever sign up to Scale Up Academy, if you don't care about anything else I have to teach you, just do that one thing, one simple thing, and have one call to action on your entire website. Put them into a sales funnel and then split them off from the sales funnel. And there's so much I wanna teach you right now. There's so much I wanna go over but we all have so much time and we're already getting pretty close to the time limit now. So Scale Up Academy, we teach you web development, we teach you sales funnels, we teach you email marketing, copywriting, uh, CRM systems, video marketing, uh, podcasting. I show you every single thing that's helped me become successful in selling millions of dollars in products and signing up millions of people into email lists, millions and millions and millions, so many people, and all you have to do is just join and then you can go through everything. And then we work one-on-one, -on -one. we're gonna jump on the phone, I'm gonna help you out and go forward. So this is just one common mistake, having this menu with all these crazy options, and then you have all these people coming in and you only get a couple of signups. You know, you're, I have so many clients that are saying, I need 10,000 visitors, I need more visitors, I need 50,000, 80,000. So if you have 10,000 visitors, then that would be the same as having 1,000 visitors with 50 signups. Just think about it. All you have to do is make this change to have a very clear message saying who this is for on your business, what they want, what their frustration is, what they're looking for, and why they need to take action. If this is a free option, like if they're frustrated with something, and this is get this for free, you know, free download, free training, free this, free, 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 whatever it is, it's free they'll take action. You'll get those 50 signups to there. And then from there, it's whatever your sales funnel does and however that performs. This right here could save your business. And if you're not doing this, join Scale Up Academy. Let's work together. If you are doing this and you're still having a leak in your funnel or you know people aren't buying at the rate you want to, or you're not getting the people through Facebook that you need to, or whatever your problem is, we're going to help you with that problem. So sign up today and we look forward to working with you. We have a couple more sessions coming in and uh, whether you sign up or not, you'll still get the free sessions. So um, yeah, till next time.